Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invites you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carol Lash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. You know, friends, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum is a typically American product that appeals to people of all ages and nationalities in all parts of our country. And the Wrigley people feel that Life with Luigi is a typically American radio program, a friendly, enjoyable show that sort of symbolizes the American spirit of tolerance and goodwill. So the makers of refreshing, delicious Wrigley's Spearmint Gum are glad to bring you Life with Luigi each week and have you join them in this pleasant half-hour's entertainment. And now let's read Luigi's letter as he writes about his adventures in America to his Mama Vasco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia, <laughs> wonderful thing about America is everybody's got a right to be a millionaire. Of course, you know, got a chance, but at least you got a right. <laughs> the reason you know got a chance is because. Taxes is high on the top to help with the man on the bottom. <laughs> and I'm like that because nobody is more on the bottom than me. <laughs> but I'm happy to be here in America, even if I'm not got the money. Because nobody orders me what I should do, what the job I should take, what the business I'm going to go into. Yes, Mamma Mia. I'm got the right to become a failure all by myself. <laughs> But I don't worry about my antique business, Mamma Mia. Last week, the business was uh, was very good. So I'm going to take $20 and open my first checking account. So I'm going to worry about the money. And I'm going to get to my health. I'm going to get to my night school. And I'm going to get to my friends. And you've got me, little cabbage puss. Huh? <laughs> well, squarely. Yes, that's the right. That's the beat. Yeah, but I have a That's nothing nice. You know, what are you doing? Reading my private letters over the shoulder when I'm not looking? Sure, little banana nose. Between us two, there never should be any secrets. So what's yours is mine, and what's mine is yours. <laughs> Pasquale, you, you really mean this? With all of my heart, Luigi. Anything I got in this world is yours for the asking. Anything? Yes. Just to mention her name and you can have her. <laughs> Basquale, I'm a think I'm a better off if what's a mine is a mine and what's a yours are you stuck with her. <laughs> Go ahead. Talk like a stupid greenhorn or boob. Hey, you just wrote to your mom a big letter about millionaires. You think you ever going to make a million dollars with your crazy antique junk shop? Yeah, but Basquale, that's not so important to me. Look at you. All of your life, you're busy saving the money. You never go out, you never spend. Sooner you're going to be too old to enjoy your money. And what the good it's done to you, huh? A lot of good. You wouldn't understand this little pumpkin I had. But there's a big enjoyment in just piling up your money and watching it grow. <laughs> I'm going to like it to brag, but the last five years, of my mattresses have grown three inches taller. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm still a step, Pasquale. Money ain't the most important thing. No, then what is? Well, well, uh, good health. Yeah? Try and get a $5,000 of credit on a pair of rosy cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what else? Friends. I know people, all their life is spent to get rich, and the richer they get, the less the friends they got. Oh, Luigi, I got plenty of friends, good of friends, and they with me all the time. Yeah, who? George Washington, Abraham Lincoln. George Washington? <laughs> yeah, that's my hobby, collecting autograph of pictures of my friends. <laughs> Washington and Lincoln, Thomas and Jefferson, Jefferson and Davis. But, well, Jefferson and Davis is a pictures on a confederate bill. I'm saving those two. Never know when they're going to be good again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, Pasquale... I'm got the real friends. Real friends? Who? Schultz, the delicatessen man? Yeah, Schultz, the delicatessen man. What can he do for you? Why, when I say to my friend of Washington, George, you go into that store, change yourself for a hundred pennies, he does it. What can a Schultz do? Nothing. He couldn't even change himself for a salami. <laughs> yeah, but Pasquale, my friends do anything for oh, me. Oh, Olsen, Horowitz, they wouldn't lend you the hole in a donut. 
If you ask Schultz for 50 bucks, he'll make a big joke and he'll say, uh, <laughs> Smile, Luigi. Keep a laugh for the like of me. <laughs> Ooh, my rheumatism is a killer. <laughs> yeah, but, but just the same, Pasquale, you're wrong. If I'm asking my friends for money, they would have given it to me. I'm sure they would have given it to me. Yeah? If they had it. Hey, you see, you ain't so sure. All right, I tell you what you do. You go to night school now. Let me see you come home with 50 bucks. All right, Pasquale, I'm going to do that. I'm going to show you how wrong you are. Good. <laughs> Listen to that pop squeak. Only don't be disappointed. If I know you friends, they wouldn't lend you a nickel even if you left a dime for security. <laughs> I wonder about keeping Miss Spaulding. Yeah, oh, she, no she's wonder. never been late to no. class. No. Who cares? The later she comes in, the more time I got to think about alibi why I didn't do my homework. Well, <laughs> 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 no. oh, Luigi, smile. So what's the matter? You look so sad. You got some rosa trouble with Pasquale? No, it's not that. This is something else. Friends, I've got a little favor I'm going to ask you. Favor? What's this favor, Luigi? Oh, just name it. Fifty dollars, the name. <laughs> Did you say fifty dollars, Luigi? Uh -huh. That's a lot of money. A lot. That's enough money to push the country from inflation to explosion. <laughs> yeah, but I'm gonna need this a fifty dollars very much because I'm a what? I'm sorry, I'm late. Um, so to make up for lost time, we'll do without the roll call and get to work. Uh, couldn't we do without the work and get the roll call? <laughs> I shall disregard that, Mr. Schultz. <laughs> now, class, I asked you to study the chapter in our history books pertaining to the pre-Civil War period. Mr. Horowitz, you may answer the first question. Who was John Brown and what did he do? John Brown. Oh, yes, yes. He got together a bunch of fellas. They made a raid on Harper's Ferry. Good. Uh, Mr. Schultz, what was John Brown's reason for raiding Harper's Ferry? They were taking away the business from the Staten Island Ferry? <laughs> No, no, no. Uh, Mr. Olson, will you tell him? I will be glad to undertake that job. <laughs> uh, John Brown's purpose was to incite a slave revolt in Virginia. For this act, he was hanged in Charleston on October the 16th, 1850. Stop, Mr. Olson. Mr. Basco, 1850 what? Huh? A 50 what? 50 dollars. <laughs> Mr. Basco, we're talking about John Brown. You mean he's going to give me the fifty dollars? <laughs> no, no, no. John Brown was hanged. If they're going to hang him for that, then I'm going to want the money. I'm going to want nothing from nobody if it's going to make a trouble. Well, now what can be the cause of this upheaval? Luigi needs fifty dollars. Well, I can see we might as well take a little time off. All right, Mr. Basco, tell us all about it. Well, you see, Miss Spalding is a like of this. I was uh, talking with a Pasquale about the something... Well, 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 look who's uh, here, Mr. J.P. Rockefeller himself. <laughs> hey, Pasquale, I'm a did it just uh, like you said. I'm asking my friends uh, for fifty dollars. And you found out the money don't grow on the trees, eh? Hello. Huh? Hey, Luigi, did you rob a bank? No, 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 count the Pasquale. Go on, has a fifty dollars. Look, Schultz took a twenty from his cash register. Horowitz got a fifteen from his wife. Olsen has about a ten from a friend. And a Mrs. Spalding, she's a give me five. Looks like the whole United Nations chipped in. <laughs> yeah, you see, Pasquale, I'm explaining to them what talk we had about the money and a friendship. What? No wonder they was a making a test case. So that don't count. Sure, they gave you money to show off a of Pasquale. But what would have happened if they wasn't a personal interest? Like if you broke your leg or something small. No, Pasquale, no, no, no. Pasquale, they give me the money just the same. How you like it, Daddy? You laying in bed with a broken leg and they come with the money to pay the hospital. They make it a charity case out of you. Huh? If you have your own money, you'd be in the Blue Cross the Hospital plan, and while you're suffering with a broken leg, you'll be enjoying yourself. <laughs> hey, you're just uh, mixing things up, Pasquale. Nobody is asking for charity. Friends are glad to help. Anybody is uh, glad to help. People, people inside is all good. Is that a so? Well, come on with me. I'm a sick and tired of hearing this Cinderella slops. 
I'm going to prove you best a friend is the buck, nothing else. All right, where are we going to? Don't ask questions, come on. When I get through with this lesson, you're going to find out that the milk of a human kindness costs $100 a quart. <laughs> Well, Pasquale, maybe explain to me now. Two hours we travel around, subway, bus, trolley, everything. We must be far away from home. Very far, Luigi. You uh, recognize this place? No, I'm got no idea where we are. Good. You see any people walking around, you know? I'm a know anybody, Pasquale. I'm a never been here. Good, good. Now let me have that $50 you beg off your friends. Well, all right, to hear now, what's all about the Pasquale? Got any more money in your pocket? Not the one a cent. That's a nice. Hey, taxi, taxi. Uh, Luigi, you say people are nice. And they got a good instincts. Money means nothing. Yeah, but the Pasquale, what's this got to do with it? Cab, mister? Yes. 23 North the Holstead Street. And make it a snappy. I can't stand without a meter clicks. Yeah, and I'm glad you stopped at this a funny business. Because now we're going to home. Not to you, Luigi. Just to me. What? Once and for all, I'm going to teach you money talks. Let's see how you live all by yourself without the money. Get a going, driver. Home, Jives. Oh, hey, Pasquale. Hey, Pasquale, stop it, stop it. Stop it. I'm a... What am I going to be? Who am I? What the... Come on, mommy, I'm a lost. <laughs> Before we return to life with Luigi, here's a suggestion to add enjoyment to your day's activities. Whether you're at home, at work, shopping, or driving your car, chew a stick of delicious Wrigley's Spearmint Gum from time to time. The good, smooth chewing gives you lots of satisfaction. It helps relieve pent-up tension so that you naturally feel better and get more enjoyment out of what you're doing. Then, too, the refreshing, long-lasting Wrigley's Spearmint flavor tastes good and freshens your mouth and helps sweeten your breath. So enjoy chewing delicious Wrigley's Spearmint Gum often every day. Always keep a package or two handy. Now let's turn to page two of Luigi Vasco's letter to his mother in Italy. And so, Mamma Mia, Pasquale's left me all alone in the streets, somewhere in Chicago, without a penny in my pocket. I'm walked around for an hour, cold, and I'm getting scared. I'm a felt just like the day when Uncle Pietro has got the mad at his goat and I took him in the woods to lose him. <laughs> there was a went so far in the woods, if it wasn't for that the goat, Uncle Pietro would never find his way home. <laughs> anyway, I'm a walk around, all around, until I'm a see policeman. Excuse me, excuse me, Mr. Policeman. Yeah. You, you know where at 21 and North Holstead Street is? North Halstead Street? Yeah. Is that way over on the other end of the town? I don't know. But on one corner is a drugstore. On a corner is a laundry. But if you use it to laundry, don't let him start the shirt so he's well out the college. <laughs> you know where I'm so supposed to be? North Halstead Street. Mister, you certainly are lost. Best bet is to get the J trolley, and they'll help you from there on. You can't miss it. Just walk three blocks, turn right, and follow your nose. Oh, that's no good, and my nose is lost too. Right. <laughs> You're pulling my leg, huh? No, it's not the possible. I'm a got my hands in my pocket. <laughs> all right, all right. Just get the J trolley. I'm busy. How much does it cost, the J trolley? Well, it's, uh... And a uh please, uh, please, we should have no trouble after you answer. I'm going to want to buy the trolley. I'm a just the one to know the fare. Fifteen cents. Now, don't tell me you haven't got it, because if you do, I'll run you in for vagrancy. Oh, no, you Look, can't... friend, I don't know what the gimmick is, but yeah, why but... don't you go your way and I'll go mine? All right, all right, I'm going to go. Everybody takes advantage of the poor policeman. Oh, look. Oh, look, a policeman was right. I'm going to turn the corner, follow my nose, and there's the J trolley. Oh, look, the people is going in there, too. Hey, trolley, trolley. 
Step to the rear of the car. Step. Hey, you. What's the idea of trying to get through without paying your fare? Shh, please, I'm not trying to do nothing wrong. I'm just the one you should have loaned me a ride. Loan you a ride? Well, now I've heard everything. No, no, you haven't heard nothing. I'm not started to talk yet. So you want a loan on a ride, huh? You want a 20-year loan, or would you rather have easier financing and let the FHA guarantee the payments? No, I'm going to guarantee the payments of myself. Honey, please, please, uh, no talk so loud. Now, look, Buster, I've heard every line, but that's it. What do you think I am, a moron? Please, I'm going to care what you are. I'm just the one to get a home. All right, get off the trolley. But I'm just... Get off the trolley. Are we going to start? I don't move until you do. All right, to move it to the rear? No, move off. All right. My mommy... Nobody is the one to listen. The Castella Mare people is to go to the park just to wait until somebody's come along to tell them their troubles. Here, nobody is caring. And is, is it getting colder? I know what I'm going to do. Hey, taxi! Taxi! 21 or not to Hollister Street, please. Not Halstead Street. That's a six dollar ride, mister. Don't worry. I'm gonna get the money with me, but I'm gonna pay you as soon as we get there. Now, what's the matter of him is so angry? It, it, it can't be Pasquale is right. Trouble is everybody. Now, let me watch this. Uh... What's this in my pocket? That's in my checkbook. Sure. No, I can do anything. Yeah, where is it, somebody? Hey, hey, mister. Yeah, what do you want? Look, mister, I'm lost and I'm left my money home. Well, go home and get it. Wait, wait. Oh, lady. Yes? Lady, please, I'm going to need a 15 cents for a trolley. What? I'm going to beg a lady. I'm going to give you a check for the money. What? You got a pen, I'm going to sign. Oh, this is ridiculous. It's the worst thing of the ridiculous. And I'm, I'm cold and I'm... And I'm hungry. Over there, there, there's a coffee pot. Yeah, I'm going in. Aye, pretty rough outside, huh? Yeah, and it's a rough inside. I'm in my stomach. I'm hungry. Well, fine. How about some eggs with Tabasco sauce? Delicious. Or Western style with chopped up vegetables and meat? Or just bacon, ham, sausage with eggs, eggs fried, scrambled, soft boiled, French fried potatoes and toast. What do you have? Everything. <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> I'm a Nazi. <laughs> See, you see, mister, I'm not eating nothing since early today. Oh. Honey, you don't have to worry about the money. I'm going to give you a check for the whole thing now. Oh, you don't have to give me your check. It's only 45 cents. But I ain't got a 45 cents. What? Mamma mia, here we go again. Look, mister, look, hey, I'm a Hey, what to... are you, a stiff? Yeah, I'm a stiff from the cold. <laughs> hey, now look, mister, everything is strictly cash here. We don't give eggs on the cup. But I'm a don't want it in a cup, but just to put it on a plate. <laughs> All right, wise guy, beat it. Yeah, but, 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 but I'm a no wise guy. I'm going to give you a check. We don't take checks. We don't trust. Everything is strictly cash. If you ain't got it, good night. Good night. What's so good about it? <laughs> Mamma mia, it's, uh, it's 11 o'clock. Well, at this time, I'm not going to fool around. Oh, huh, mister? Yeah? Hey, listen, I'm a got to no money, I'm a got to no checks, I'm a no got to nothing. I need a 15 cents, yes or no? Oh, thank you. Look, mister, I'm going to want to take advantage of nobody. Yeah, I'm yeah. A... what kind of talk is that? Stand up straight. Huh? Stand you up don't straight. look like a bum. You know what? You don't have to beg from anybody. Help what yourself, the... get wise, be positive. Get the wise what the... Be positive. Be positive? You heard me. If you're negative, you get no place. Be positive. Be like me. Positive. Yeah, but Mama Mia is so cold, I can't even snap of the fingers like you. <laughs> well, stop sniveling and start taking advantage for a change. Don't ask for handouts. Get out and hustle. You gotta learn to accumulate some scratch yourself, understand? Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, sure, yeah, I'm understand. Positive? Positive? That's it, so long. So long, huh? <laughs> The only thing I'm a positive is I'm a got no money. Yeah, but the man is right. 
Come on, shouldn't I feel sorry for myself? Hey, y'all, yeah, get your morning paper. Paper, mister? No, 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 I'm gonna get them. Wait a minute, mister. You got a lot of papers, huh? Plenty. This cold night, I don't think I'll get rid of half of them. Here, here, here. That's no way to talk. You gotta be positive. Here, give me half of the papers. I'm gonna sell them for you. How much am I gonna get? Well, I'll give you four cents for each one. Hey, you want to up and up? I'm a feeling more like it down in the down. <laughs> no, that's not right. Sure, I'm money the up and up. All right, grab this bundle, okay? Okay, okay. Oh, I mean, okay. Now, you work that side of the street. Yell out the headlines and shake a leg. All right, I'm a shake of two legs. <laughs> Here we are, I've got the your papers. That's and... it. Hardy, what are what are extra? That's the what are what are what are extra? That a boy? Mamma mia, I'm, I'm just a new language. That's your paper. Hard the water, 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 extra. Hard the water, 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 extra. Hey, what's the matter? I sold out and you got all your papers left. Sure, I got another stack of where you got them from. What? Yeah, using my own money too. And here's yours. And oh yeah, if you make a six cents a paper, give us somebody else a four cents. So remember. What the what the what the what the next to that? What the 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 the what 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 Fifty people are killing a crash. Young man, I just bought this paper and that headline isn't even in it. Huh. Well, all right, to buy another one, or maybe you'll find it the daddy. Well. What the weather, what the next to No water declared. Anything you want to declare. Hey, boy, you got a nickel for a cup of coffee? Huh? What a short head. Is it, Nicka? A stronger man like you begging for money. Here, come on, I take some of these peppers and a work. Work? Sure, be positive. Every pepper you sell, you get a three cents. What? Sure, that's in the spirit to hear it. Come on, sell it. What, 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 what,
Himmel, Himmel, been suffering from shock. Luigi, what's happened to you? You are changed. You're a change. That's right. You said it. I'm learned a very big lesson, Pasquale. Like you say, money talks. If you try to be nice, you get a no place. You gotta be tough and hard. So that's me. From now on, fellas, shake hands with the new Luigi. Here, here. I'm sorry for what I did, Luigi. If I make this a change in you, I'd do anything to change you back. Huh? Yes, I'm all wrong, and not you. I missed the old Luigi. Oh, you did, huh? Yeah, me, me too, Luigi. I like you better when you have a little shimmer. <laughs> <laughs> your, your, this, this new way doesn't suit you, Luigi. I don't like it, Luigi. Oh, you don't like it, huh? No. Honey, you know something, then? I'm ahead of myself. I don't like it either. And this is cigar is making me sick. Oh, that's the boy. Oh, that's yeah, the boy. You know, I, I just don't want to be me. I can't be hard, and, and I don't want to be. I don't care how rich is making me. Come on, we all are celebrating with some wine. Yeah, come on, right. hey, Schultz, uh, yeah? if you don't mind, I like my hundred dollars back. Ah, uh, Pasquale, you say money talks. Hmm? So what? So listen to your hundred dollars. They just said goodbye to you. <laughs> Here, Luigi. No, 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 no. That thanks, you should say. Pasquale. Here. It's uh, for you. Maybe, maybe you learned your lesson today. And you learned my lesson, too. Friends. They're much better than money. So, Mamma Mia, don't worry, I'm no change. Except in one thing negative and positive. When Pasquale was asking me again to marry Rosa, I said no. That's a negative. <laughs> when he's asking me if I'm sure, I'm a said, sure, I'm sure. That's a positive. <laughs> and also about those two words. Even if sometimes I'm feel lonesome, those are two words, negative and a positive. Even if sometimes I don't think everything is going to good, I know that if it's a negative or a positive, there's a no place I'm rather feel that way than in this big, beautiful country I'm a found, America. Now, with that, I'm a positive. You're loving the son of Luigi Basco, the little immigrant. I um, hope you've enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi. And they want to remind you, good, but also good for you. Gum is an easy way to help keep your... Also aids digestion. So, you see, every time you chew a stick of well-tasting Wrigley Spearmint, you get enjoyment plus the benefits of the chewing action. So remember to chew a few sticks of delicious Wrigley Spearmint Gum every day. It costs so little, tastes so good. Get some Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum for yourself and your family next time you go to the store. Ladies and gentlemen, you can see your Life with Luigi favorites in the new issue of Look Magazine, now on sale at your newsstands. Look takes you inside Luigi's antique shop and introduces you to Cy Howard, creator-producer of Life with Luigi, J. Carol Nash, its star, and other personalities who make CBS's Life with Luigi show, sponsored by the Wrigley people, possible. See the Life with Luigi story in the new Look magazine. The makers of Wrigley Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to listen next week at this same time when Luigi Vasco writes another letter to his mama Vasco in Italy. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production and is directed by Mr. Howard. Mac Benoff writes the script with Lou Dermott. J. Carol Nash is starred as Luigi Vasco with Alan Reed as Pasquale. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.